Welcome. We've got people coming in. My name is Jordan. Super excited to be here with you today. Um, guys, get settled in. I'm going to give everyone just a few minutes to get settled, jump in. Got an awesome webinar I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Lead gen, one of my favorite topics. I'm very passionate about lead gen. Our reps in the field, they work so hard day in and day out in the trenches. And as owners, we want to empower them and give them the tools and resources that they need to, to do the best, to have the best experience, to stick with your company and follow your guys' leads. So as you guys are jumping into the room, would love to hear, one, what industry you're serving, whether that's solar, alarms, pest, telco, roofing, windows, whatever it is that you're doing, I'd love to know. Drop that into the chat. Um, I've got a Q&A box as well. So as I'm rolling through this, I'm going to try and keep my eye on the chat. And I want to answer your guys' questions. Bring some energy. I'm going to feed off the energy you guys have today. You guys see something cool, let me know. Um, but for right now, tell me where you're calling in from, uh, state or city, and then uh, what industry you guys are serving. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I see people jumping in the chat. Chat and question, guys. Some folks from Texas. What's up, great state of Texas? As you guys are jumping in, welcome. Um, I'm Jordan. I'll be running the show today. Get settled. On top of that, jump into the chat. I want to know what industry you're serving and where you're calling in from, whether it's the USA, out of the country. We actually have, I think we're in like 60 different countries, Sales Rabbit. So this is being used globally by salespeople worldwide. So I'm always curious to know where you're calling in from. Louisiana, what up? Florida, what up? If you want to drop the city, cool. I know we got Texas in the house. Texas is popping up. Dave, I see you just jumped in the chat. Where are you from? Let's give it two more minutes, everybody. Get settled, get a nice little beverage, and uh, we'll start the show. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to be covering a lot today, everybody. I thank you for joining, too. It's an honor to be here with you guys today. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy days. I know how valuable just a half hour of your time is, whether that's spent with reps, back-end business, in the field, working with prospects. So I promise to make good use of your time. I hope to deliver a ton of value today. I want to make it worth your guys' time for hopping on today. Let's see here. Looks like we got Q&A. We got questions coming in. Chat is disabled. Thank you. Let me see how I can fix that real quick. Dave, you're the man. Appreciate that. And I'm opening it up to everyone. That chat is live, guys. Jump in there. Thank you for the Q&A. In the chat, I know you guys have been putting this, your answers in the Q&A. Throw the answers in the chat, too. Q&A is open to you guys as well. All right, everybody. I'm excited. One more minute and we'll get started here. The only sales platform in the game. So if you guys are operating businesses, you have sales reps in the field, prospecting, closing deals, setting up appointments, you're going to want to stay tuned. We are covering lead gen. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys three of my favorite strategies um, that I believe really move the needle in a big way to separate yourself from the competition to do a little bit more than the average rep does, right? Okay, let's jump in guys. So I'm gonna be covering the only field sales platform in the game today. Super feature rich, extremely robust. Quick overview of Sales Rabbit, then we'll dive in, I promise. But I wanna let you guys know, Sales Rabbit, we've been doing this for 11 years. 11 years working with best in class customers like yourselves. And during this time, We've had a front row seat to see processes, systems, and flows. And I want to share everything that I know with you guys. And as a brand, when you partner with us, that's what you get access to. It's the people and the experiences that we want to share. So 10 years in business, some incredible stats, incredible reviews. And it's a mobile app, guys. Apple, Android, phone, tablet, and a desktop version. It's really a personal preference what the rep wants to use while they're in the field. Um, I'll cover what we're going to show today, but I just want to talk briefly about our philosophy and where Sales Rabbit came from. We are an app built by salespeople for salespeople. 
And so Sales Rabbit, since the very, very beginning, we've always focused on the rep experience. Because we know if we recruit a rep, they come work for our company, they find success, they're going to bring their friends, they're going to stick around longer. And if we can influence their success, we know that that ties into better organizational success in terms of recruiting higher talent, having that performance culture where everybody's bought in, we're all drinking the Kool-Aid and we're breaking records that we thought were impossible before, okay? This is a huge one, effective and scalable tools and processes. Don't be that owner that's too lazy, too cheap to build the groundwork, okay? When you bring someone into your company, systems and processes to help them be successful, overall tying into better management visibility, right? Data that is gonna give you those aha moments in the shower where, hey, I know that I'm gonna lead my business this way or this needs to change in whatever way that comes to you. So. Let's talk about what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to be showing you some core essentials, but really I'm going to spend time on our data grid artificial intelligence. Okay. It's over 700 data points. It's 83% accurate homeowner information. I'm going to show you strategies, how to approach it, how to use it in the field. We're going to be talking about weather for home improvement and roofing. Okay. Hail, wind, tornado, all in one place. Reps aren't having to jump through multiple logins to close deals. We consolidate your entire tech stack into one place that's central for the entire business. I could get into integrations, but imagine your whole ecosystem speaking together and reps in the field on their phone doing everything they need to do. That's what Sales Rabbit is. So whether we're going to cover that, and then we're going to talk about mover leads. This is something that came high demand from our customers. They were screaming at us, please, please find a way to automate this. It's manual. But what we're going to be covering is how we scrape the MLS database to find homes that are at a higher propensity to buy that have just moved into the property. Um, and it's really, I think, the easiest way to put these leads into your reps' hands. So I'm just going to highlight 60 superior integrations out of the box really unmatched in terms of our API. It's so supported. It's so robust. Every endpoint is well-documented. And with that, let's jump to our first slide and let's get into the app. So I'm going to cover data grid first, which really I can't imagine knocking doors today without data grid. Okay. And when I didn't have data grid, I would be in neighborhoods prospecting, looking for signs of life, right? Cars in the driveway, garage doors open, AC units on, storm doors cracked. And I'm walking through looking to who to knock on next. And so what I want to show you guys is an efficient way to analyze states, counties, neighborhoods, and homes. So what we're going to be doing is with our AI model, we have a database of 280 million individual records. And on every single home, we have over 700 data points that are all weighted by importance. And it lumps into three main categories, property type, lifestyle, and demographics. Now, the customer data is going to go into our AI engine. Machine learning is going to drill down on all of that. And out is going to come a buyer score, a one to 10 score based on some of these attributes you see here. And it's things like how much of this area are homeowners, right? Not to say I can't go into an area that's mostly renters, but I have to prospect much more efficiently to get onto doorsteps where I'm actually going to be able to make a sale. It's going to show me the average credit rating. How huge is that? How many times do you spend 15, 20, 30 minutes, an hour inside of a prospect's home just to find out they're not qualified? Okay, so I love, love the credit rating. It's going to show me the home values, whether you're like a hood trench knocker and you like to knock in trailer parks, which I love doing. I'll get into that for a minute. Or you want to knock homes that are 800K and higher. Maybe we're looking for homes that are a little bit more mature, but higher in value. We're going to have that covered in here as well. The square footage, right? How many squares? What size of home am I working? How long have they lived here? This is big too. Um, the year the home was built, the percentage of new move-ins that are in this area, um, the average age, the, how many people live here, and then how much money do they make in terms of their income? So all that's going to be on the mobile device. Everything is super easy to see. Let's actually jump into a real example. I've got my iPad open right here. And right now, let's just go to the entire USA. You can see all my leads all across the country there. Let's go ahead and tap on the diamond right here. This will open up data grid in app. And you can see I've got scores across the whole country. Now, I want to mention again, the data that I'm about to show you is 83% accurate. We're updating it on a monthly basis from multiple data providers. 
okay? Best in class when it comes to data provisioning. And this AI, it learns from you. And what we can also do is build you a custom model that's specific to your business in the markets that you serve. And essentially what we're going to do is float up a lookalike audience on the people that are most likely to buy from you. So I'm going to drill down in a random state. Let's just look at Texas because I know we got a lot of people from Texas in here today. And if I tap on the state of Texas, there's that high level demographic info, right? Homeowner percentage, credit, values, square footage, length of residence, year the home was built, how many new move-ins, average age, income and occupants. And that's for the entire state. Let's take a look over here at Austin. As I zoom in, it is then going to break these up into counties. So really showing me where do I want to drill down on? What area should we be serving? If I look at Austin County, here's the stats. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. It's going to break it up into what we call census tracks. Now, I'm going to tap on this 3.0 area. Once again, not to say that I can't go in here and rip deals with 37% homeownership, but I've got to be a sniper and I need to target where those homeowners are or I'm going to end up wasting a ton of time with renters. And guys, I've tried to sell renters. It's a ton of brain damage, right? I've tried to get the landlord out to, onto the property. And sometimes it works, very rarely. I was knocking in Florida one year, knocked on a renter. Sure enough, the landlord happened to be there. So I was able to approach and he had four other homes that we were able to service. So every once in a while, it's cool. Let's find ourselves a nice green area that I would go ahead and pick to work for a week or two. Here's 364 homes. And with area management, I, I'm a stickler and I've bumped shoulders with some of the best in the industry. And they will tell you the best offices make their reps stay in these neighborhoods until they have gotten a yes or no from 80% of the homes. Okay. And if you've managed people long enough, you know that in the industry, there's this thing called gigs syndrome, G-I-G-S. And it stands for grass is greener syndrome, right? Billy always thinks Timmy's area is better. Or if I was just in my manager's area today, I would be killing it. And it's like, no, rep, listen, the longer you stay put, the better the more neighbors are going to see you talking to people. You're going to have more names to name drop. You're going to end up on the HOA Facebook page. We're going to start seeing fulfillment, yard signs. Those no's turn into yeses. And the longer I stay put, all that begins to snowball into my favor. So it's as easy as hitting this polygon shape right here to assign hood. I can then assign it to an office, a region, a manager. I'm going to assign this to my Miami office for the time being. And then I'll assign it to myself. Let's jump in. Once a rep owns an area, they're going to have pins on top of every home. And you can see I've got a one to 10 score. Okay. This is showing their, showing you their propensity or the likeliness to buy your product. Let me reset my filters. We'll get into that in a moment. But now if I were to touch down on this neighborhood, I always joke around with my reps, right? We've all heard it before. The car door's the hardest door. And I tell them, no, 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 guys, I need you to envision right now that you're flying into this area on a private jet. You land in the middle of the road, the red carpet rolls out, you walk up to that first door and it's like, sorry, I'm late. I belong here. And if I tap on this home, let's talk about belonging to an area. How do we have authority in the area? How do we build social proof in these areas? I tap on this 9.0 and it's going to let me know the name on the title. It's going to let me know the other occupants that live here. And you can see all the other data points. How much money do they make? Do they rent or own? How long have they lived here? This home has something pretty interesting and something very valuable. You'll notice under Mindy Stoddart's name, here's a phone number. That's right. We have phone numbers. Not every home, but the numbers that you do see in here are already pre-scrubbed against the nationwide do not contact list. So it's marketable. I have some virtual companies, okay? They're CPLs, CPAs, right? Through digital channels, marketing, Facebook, billboards. It's getting expensive. Other brokers. What these virtual companies are doing is they're coming in. This data, by the way, is nationwide. It's unlimited and it's exportable. And so these companies will come in. They'll scrape the areas that they want. They'll export it. They'll filter it for phone numbers. And they're throwing those phone numbers into a call center. Some of the happiest customers that I've ever been with us in my last three years here. So all of this data goes beyond a door knock. Think mailers, right? When I was in the roofing space, I'd always send out mailers before I got there. This data right here, I can customize. I can drill down on my ICP, export, throw into a lob, a 360 marketing campaign. Mailers arrive, right? And it's personalized. 
with their name, maybe their occupation, which I'll get into in a moment. But here I have all the names. And so let's say I'm selling roofs. If I were to knock on this house, I can say, hey, is this the Stoddard's? Okay, great. You're Mindy, right? Super quick. Don't worry. I'm not selling anything. I'm just a certified roofing inspector with XYZ, right? Reason I'm stopping by today. Did you happen to see that postcard we sent out in the mail about four weeks ago? Okay. Yeah. If you're like me, you probably just threw it in the trash. It was just saying that we were going to be in the area doing free home inspections for homes that qualified. I've done about 15 so far. It's mostly free shingles, a few bent ridge caps. I'm stopping by right now because I actually have an appointment with your neighbor, Joanna, the, the Rechnitz. They've got that red Prius parked out front. They're running about 40 minutes late from the Home Depot. So I can actually fit in another inspection now if your home qualifies. So what I love about that approach is I'm using the homeowner's name to break preoccupation. I'm bandwagoning effect the neighbor's names to build social proof. And I break preoccupation in such a unique way that I'm typically buying myself an extra 60 seconds on that doorstep because they're not thinking about the food in the air fryer or the ESPN sports clip, right? Or maybe the screaming kids. It's, wait, what? My neighbor's me? Well, yeah, of course I'm listening now and I can get into a much better approach. So 80% of this neighborhood, I promise you, I will knock before I move on. I actually get anxiety when it's time to switch areas because I put so much time into serving this community. But if this really was my first time touching down in this neighborhood, I'm going to want to filter this data. I don't want to go door to door like a robot monkey. Okay. So let me show you what we can filter by. First thing is going to be occupation. And I've seen some really creative word tracks and messaging around military, healthcare, and education, just making that copy feel a lot more personalized. Um, I can filter by homeowners. So typically I really only want to talk to homeowners. If I speak Spanish, my Spanish speakers out there, being able to isolate and drill down on Spanish speaking homes, like money. Next piece is age. I love age. I would always hold my correlation meetings, excuse me, at 9 a.m. We'd cover objections, role playing, uh, my competitions, my incentives, my shout outs. And then I expected my reps to be in field knocking their first door by 11. So what I'd have them do is bump age up to about 56, 58. Because we all know the working class doesn't get home till prime time. So now what I would tell them is, hey, if you can just talk to 20 or 30 more people per day compared to the average rep, think how that stacks up over a year. So there's so many other data points in here that I can filter down on. This, I mean, I'll leave you pleasantly surprised. This changes the game when it, when you get in field. A couple other things I want to show you guys. I could go on for, for days talking about that, but I do want to cover weather. Love our weather product. And I love the fact that we are partnered with Verisk and Xactimate. So all of our weather reports are, weather reports are benchmarked. You're going to find a ton of consistency in your claims because now you're playing out of the same playbook that the top 20 insurance providers are playing with. It's accurate data in app. And we are also providing weather alerts, SMS texts on all the storms that you're looking for. If you're not first, you're last. And then we update this real time. It's about a 15 minute latency. So when those storms are hitting, you're gonna be one of the first people to know. We also generate household weather reports, unlimited per household location, which is gonna compile every significant weather incident over the last three years. So let's jump in and take a look at this, what it looks like in app. I'm gonna zoom out, I'm gonna turn data grid off. I loaded a storm on the 11th, I believe. Let's hit my weather. And you can see I've got hail size, the date. I can search back three years into the past. We don't charge you per map. It's unlimited nationwide for any storm three years back, right? And this is what it looks like. Let's jump over here. Let's actually jump to one of my current areas. Here we are in New Orleans. I can see in the eye of the storm, inch and a half. I actually cut out a neighborhood over here, three quarters inch hail. But now I know where to go. Where's the damage, you know? And if I run into a three tab shingle, um, neighborhood and all of them start to have damage, I know that I'm going to hunker down and work this area for the next two or three weeks. I really will be that meticulous when I'm in the areas. Um, weather, let me jump back here. Weather, I can pick any date, right? I can pick what type of swath I want to see, or I can throw down a storm finder. So I'm going to drop down storm finder. A radius is going to go down. And then I pretty much just get to shop for what type of storms I'm looking to work. So right now I'm searching from 11, 22 to 23, 5, 22, 24, got a 70 mile radius. 
Let's look for hail that's an inch and a quarter, okay? And then what you'll be able to see is a list of all those storms. Right now it's retrieving the information. We'll give it a moment here. Looks like it's pulling a ton of data. 80 mile an hour went, here we go. And I can just shop. So on the 17th, I had inch and a quarter, two inch hail. I mean, you can pretty much just pick any date and that swath is gonna appear. Now I wanna show you the storm report. I have one loaded. So we're just gonna jump to one that's already been pulled. Uh, let's just do test weather. Where is this in Texas? Sure, why not? In the files, that weather report is gonna save, okay? I can download it with the touch of a button. I can send it, text it, email it, airdrop it. This is gonna be branded with your company logo, your company name, your reps number and information and the homeowner name. So I love having this loaded and knocking on a door and showing that my iPad with their name on it. Or I love pulling this report up after I've gotten onto the roof. I get off the roof. I'm like, hey, Mr. Mr. Customer, I've got good news, I've got bad news. Let's start with the bad news one on a high note. The bad news is your roof is smoked. Like here's the pictures. And also here's a weather report benchmarked by Verisk that's verifying what I found on your roof, okay? The good news is I've done about 15 homes in this neighborhood. Your home is a shoe in for us to get bought with the insurance company. Do you have a small piece of kitchen table? We can sit down and I'll show you how to move through these next steps, right? Now I'm in the home, I'm onto my closing steps. So I love, love, love having this data. I love sending it off as a leave behind. Um, but once again, we're really cramming a lot and I, I could go on for another 30 minutes around just these different weather strategies that our customers are using day in, day out. Got one more thing I want to show you guys, and then I'll give you guys just time back. And this next piece, this was this was requested by our customers, right? The problem is about 31 million people move into new houses every year. And me personally, I would be on Zillow, Redfin, searching for the homes just closed in the last 90 days. And I'm manually writing this down. I'm manually putting it into my sales rabbit. Extremely time consuming, but it was worth it. Because what we found is when somebody buys a home, a house, they're turning that house into a home. Think about it. They're getting their internet set up. They got the sewer and trash, all their utilities. They bought the new TV with the sound bar. Their wife got the new couch and they're in buyer momentum. And when you knock on their door, you're the first person to swing by. And hey, what's up? I'm the ambassador in this neighborhood. Or hey, what's up? The person before had this special deal. I'm going to offer it to you. There's so many different strategies in our presentation and our word track when we're approaching new homes. And so what we've done is we've automated scraping the MLS database to show you any time someone has moved into a new property. The way this works is we'll select an event, either just closed, under contract, or just listed, and then you get to select the frequency. Do I want these to drop real time? As soon as they close, let me know. We scrape the MLS database every five minutes. So if a real estate agent clicks closed, you're going to have that data. Next is a delay. I like the delays for the solar industry. Maybe I want to show up a month or two after so I've got some usage to build out my proposal. Maybe I'm selling pest control and I want to be there the next day. We've got, um, we can optimize that for you. Next up is residential or commercial property types and then a value range, right? Maybe you really like homes that are about 200 to 500. Maybe you really like those 750 to 1.2 million homes, just depending on what demographic you enjoy speaking to and what your conversion rates are like. Then you just assign the zip codes to the users. And I've got some big companies where they're using these leads as incentives. Hey, you did really good last week. I'm giving you the mover leads this week. Or hey, some companies, this is their entire model. They will exclusively work new mover leads. Um, what this looks like in app, well, let me see if I can filter down for that. We might be out of time here, folks. I really, really appreciate your time. I'll try to get some questions here at the end. We are gonna build a lead status that is gonna be a purple pin like this. And whenever somebody moves in, what's gonna happen is this pin is gonna drop on top of the home, okay? Okay, let me see here. This pin right here, folks. So if you see this pin, you know that somebody has just moved in. And in terms of data, we aren't gonna provide a ton. We provide just enough though. We're gonna provide the sold date, the sold price, and the square footage. So I don't know their name, excuse me, but I will know their neighbor's names if we're using data grid and to bandwagon the neighbor's names to build that social proof once again to somebody who's just moved into the property. Oh, it is incredible. So mover leads are incredible. Let me stop the chair and let me check the questions. We got some questions in here. 
Does it work the same in Canada? Um, unfortunately, no. The data grid information is going to be exclusive to the U.S. for now. One thing about Canada, they actually um, respect and protect your privacy versus how we do it here in the States where everybody's data is being sold and Big Brother knows pretty much everything you're doing when you're doing it. So unfortunately, we don't have that type of data in Canada. If you guys know of data providers in Canada, would love to hear more from you guys. Um, I think I've covered everything I want to cover today, guys. I might give you guys some time back. I do want to say, though, we are going to email out a link to everybody that was here today. I would love to spend 20, 30 minutes with you to better understand your business. Take a look at where your systems and processes are today. Um, strategize, potentially partner with you guys, but we want to share everything that we have with you. We're not gating anything. And so if any of this resonated, if, if you're curious about any more, please book a time with me. We can hop on, we can chat. Like I said, I'd love to learn more about you guys. Um, been an honor. Thank you so much for showing up today. I'm going to give you guys about three minutes back. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And one last thank you guys. Um, let's go out there and be great. Bye for now, everyone.